Hello guys, in this video, I am going to let you know how to use TikTik -tick as a beginner. Let's get into it. TikTik -tick is a simple and easy to use time management tool. It includes modules for tasks, calendar, Eisenhower matrix, Pomodoro, and habit tracker. You can use it to manage your work and life, achieve your goals in less time, and free yourself from the clutter of to-do lists. To get into it, all you have to do is simply click over get started. You can sign in using these three options Google, Apple, and Facebook, and you can sign in by giving your email address. I am going to sign in by email address, so I have to add my username and email address, and then enter here a password. So I am giving here my details. Then I will be in it. It will open after a while. So here is the dashboard of the tick tick. On the left side of the dashboard, you will find different editing options. Let's have a look at them one by one. So here is the profile icon. And then this is the task option. Then the calendar view. And then the search option here. If you look further, here are the notification options and more. This option is for today's task. You can set your task for today here on the left side. Then you can set your tasks for the next seven days. Now this is the inbox here. You can see some of its details here. You have your tags, obviously, you can categorize as many things as you can see, over here, it has already been written there. And you can filter them also, like list date parity. And obviously, tags are also involved in it. You have your computer task will be over here, and the deleted task will be in the trash. Here, you can add any task you want. If you look further, here is the option of custom. You can customize it by group or by sort. If you click on these three dots, a drop-down will appear with different options. Now let's have a look at other features, so I am going to click on this profile icon. Then go over the settings. When the settings window appears, you can see a variety of options. If you look at the right side, you will see the premium option here. If you want to upgrade it, you can do it. The next option is features, and then a smart list. Let's scroll down and have a look at it. From here, you can set your privacy against hide and show options. Here, you will change the settings form to show if it is not empty. Now let's hit the notification option here it is, you can change it according to your needs. From here, you can set the date and time. Now here is the appearance option, once you click on it, you will get different options to change the theme. You can change it from default to gray and then dark. I think the gray is good enough. Further, if you scroll down, you will get different options here. Then you can see the more option form here, which will further give you the sub options. And here are further inquiries and imports, then collaboration, then shortcuts, and then the last one is about. Now let's close it. So now we are going to create a list and to create a list of what you need to do, you need to go over here click on the list and you can see it over here. Click on the plus sign, click on it, and click here. You can change the emoji if you want to, like I'm just going with this and HS production. You can change the color of your choice from here. Then you can add a name here, or you can select a new folder. Now add the name of your folder, like, I am going to write here video. And then go over the save button. You can see, on the left side, a list is created here. Now give here the type of this list. I am going with a task list and then click on add. Then just add the name of your task in this bar, you can add more than one task here. Now let's go to the filters here. You can add filters of your choice. And from here, you can add the tags. Let's add a tag here. I am going to tag the list by editing names. Then I am going to select a color here. You can add a parent tag, I am not going to do that. Now click save. Let's add another tag here. What I will do is simply click on it and go to the three dots here. 
will appear then I will go to the tags option. Then add the tag in the dialog box and then click OK. The tag will be added here. Now let's move on to the completed task. If you click over it, you will find it empty. This is my task, enter, and that's it. As you can see, you can add more over here, you can just click on it. It will be completed obviously, and you have more options over here as you can view with this, which is very good. You can just create new sections over here, just write in progress, you can add multiple sections ahead and create them. Now let's have a look at the tasks. These are my tasks. And this is the calendar view, let's have a look at it. You will see different features here. You can select here for months and days. From this search bar, you can search for any of your tasks. So, guys, that was all about how to use TickTick as a beginner. I hope you learned something from this video. If you have any question don't hesitate to take comment down below. And thank you for watching.